With warmer weather comes more mosquitoes, and with mosquitoes comes the risk of heartworm disease for your pets. As Olivia Levada reports, a group of Central Texas vets say they find the parasites in pets at least once a week. As a kennel technician at Belton Small Animal Clinic, Deborah Raper cares for other people's pets. However, when she rescued her dog Daisy from an unsafe environment and brought her home, she quickly discovered something was wrong. That's when she became the client. She was breathing a lot harder. She was, wasn't was running around as much. She was laying around, sleeping most of the time. And uh, I decided to bring her on in and get everything checked out. And that is when I did find out she had heartworms. So how exactly does this happen? Heartworm disease is spread by mosquitoes. Mosquitoes will um, pick up a larva from an infected dog, coyote, cat, etc., um, and they can pass it that way. And it takes one bite. Now, if you notice your pet isn't eating as much as they usually do, they're coughing and just acting out of the ordinary, it may be time to get that heartworm test. Heartworms, they live inside the heart. They live right between the heart and the lungs. Um, and by living there and growing up there, they can cause a lot of inflammation, a lot of scarring, um, and really damage the heart and the lungs. However, there are methods for prevention. It is 100% easier to um, prevent than it is to treat. Um, the prevention is literally a monthly pill or an every six month shot. It should be done. The dog can go through a lot of pain. She actually has anxiety after. She gets very stressed out easily now when she's cooped up too long. Uh, it's very smart to just get it done. In Belton, Olivia Levada, Central Texas News Now. Experts say you should follow those tips because treatment for heartworm disease can often be hard on your pet and your wallet. Treatment can include up to four months of cage confinement and can typically, uh, typically cost up to $2,000.